though Al assures me it's okay to believe in God without arguments, he does enjoy discussing some of his favorites, like proper function, morality and beauty. But I cannot, or cannot yet, share Al's convictions. And there are competing explanations for existence. Confident or confused, I am always delighted turning to Steven Weinberg, a Nobel laureate in physics who thinks deeply about fundamental questions. While Steve does not believe in God, a conclusion with which I may not agree, there is no one to whom I would rather listen. Steve, let's discuss the boundaries of science, particularly in that religion would purport to deliver what science cannot. Well, there's certainly things science cannot deliver. Science has nothing to say about uh, what man ought to do. Uh, it can tell you what will happen if you do certain things, and you may then decide whether that's a good thing or not, but science can't tell you whether that's a good thing. Uh, in a sense, religion can't either, uh, which may sound a little surprising because that's what religion, to many eyes, would supposed to. But uh, religion is partly a body of statements of fact that there is a creator, that there is an afterlife, perhaps, that there's certain ways of getting the good to the good side of the afterlife. It's still your choice whether those are good commands, and so. Religion doesn't relieve you from the moral choice any more than science does. It's notorious that science does. I don't think religion does either. There's another side to what religion purports to do, and that says that science in its explanatory powers, as remarkable as they are, will ultimately face a wall. There'll be an existence of something beyond which they cannot explain, and only religion then can come in and explain that theory to its ultimate extent, that science ends and religion begins. I think the religious people who say that are right about science and wrong about religion. Uh, it is true that science will hit a wall if we're lucky. <laughs> that is, if we get to a final theory, which is clearly as far as we can go, there will always be a remaining question, why this? And it may be answered. Uh, that it is only this kind of theory that is mathematically consistent and uh, allows a universe rich enough to have people in it that could ask the question. But you'll still ask, well, why should there be people? There's an irreducible mystery. I grant that. But if you're religious, there, it doesn't remove the mystery. I mean, a religious person who says that he or she believes in God might be asked, well, you know, what is God like? And if he or she says, I have no idea, God is completely unknown to me. Well, then, you know, what does it mean? It's just a three-letter word. The belief in God has no content whatever. If, on the other hand, they come forth and say, well, God is the creator, God is all-powerful, God is merciful, God is vengeful, whatever, God is humorous, uh, then they're making a statement which raises the question, why that? Why is God that way rather than some other way? If you believe that uh, God is merciful but will punish us all who don't believe in him uh, and the last judgment, uh, then you have to say, well, why is God that way? Now, I'm not saying that that proves that the religious person is wrong. I mean, maybe God is that way. Maybe there is such a God. But the religious person is left with a mystery, which is no less than the mystery with which science leaves us. Why is that the way it is? The same irreducible mystery. Why is that the way it is? About God's existence, I find one fact beyond dispute. Really smart folks hold radically opposite views. Both sides, God, no God, cite the world as evidence. 
believers add personal experience of God, which non-believers dismiss as illusion, delusion, or worse. Neither side has a knockdown proof. God's existence or non-existence is not deducible by logic. Instead, believers assert that God is the inference to the best explanation, while non-believers counter that postulating God just multiplies entities and adds complexity without explanatory gain. I'm pleased that the existence of God is not determined by human vote. Majority opinion does not get us closer to truth. For complete interviews and for further information, please visit closertotruth.com.